Hello and welcome back. Now you have understood what is a platform. What do you mean by platform dependency? It's time to understand platform independency and how Java made platform independent programming language or how Java achieved Vora, write once, run anywhere. Fine. Now please understand this. Whenever you write an application using Java programming language, suppose I'm writing Java application, high level language code, English is involved here. Fine. And our platform understands only zeros and ones. You have understood in the very first lecture of this entire series. Now, instead of making use of ordinary, ordinary compiler, Java has designed its own compiler, a hybrid compiler. We also call it as Java compiler. It is different from normal compiler. Usually, compiler means it will convert your high-level code into machine understandable format, which is binary code, zeros and ones. Java application, whatever you have written, if you compile behind the scene, a special Java compiler is used. This compiler will not convert your Java code into zeros and ones. Rather, it will convert them into byte codes. Byte codes. Byte codes, they are intermediate level language. They are neither in the high level nor in the machine level. They are not in the high level also. They are not in the machine level also. And these byte codes, they are platform independent. Unlike the machine level code, byte code does not have any restriction that if you convert me to byte code on Windows, I will work only on Windows. There is no such restrictions. Byte code are platform independent. They have been compiled from high level to byte code on Windows. They can work on any other platform and they are very secure also. Fine. Now, who will convert this byte code into machine understandable format? We have something called as JVM. Internally uses interpreter concept, which going forward you will understand. Now, if you want to convert your byte code into machine understandable format, you have to give this byte code to JVM. JVM will run them. Internally, it converts to zeros and ones, which is machine understandable format. And that will be given to your platform. Platform will give you the result. Great. Now, if you want to work this application on any other system with a different platforms, you will not be uploading your machine understandable format code on the network. Machine code is always platform dependent. If you upload this, this machine code can run only on the windows or only on the specific, you know, uh, operating system on which it has been converted to machine code. Now, what would be uploading on the network? It is the byte code. So byte code, they are secure also. They are portable also. And byte codes are platform independent codes. Now, other systems, if they want to run this application, they are downloading. They are downloading the byte codes. Byte codes, which is a compiled code of Java, which you have written. Fine, which is converted to bytecode from a Java compiler. And all of you are, you know, downloading the bytecodes here. Great. Now, who will convert this into a machine understandable format? It is JVM. It is JVM. So in your machine, if you want to run, you should have a JVM. So JVM responsibility is to convert your bytecode into machine understandable format, machine understandable code, which is binary code. If you give it to Macintosh, conversion to byte code to machine understandable code happened on the Macintosh in the Mac operating system. That means this machine code is Mac dependent. If you try to run on Mac 100%, it will work. There is no problem. Conversion to byte code into machine understandable code happened on the Linux so this machine code is Linux dependent. And if you give it to Linux, 100% it will work. There is no problem here. Fine. So machine level code is always platform dependent. Now conversion from byte code to machine level code happened on Mac. So this machine understandable code, binary code is a Mac dependent. And if you run, there is no problem here. Now, whenever you download JDK from the Oracle website, it will say different JDK for Linux, different JDK for Macintosh, different JDK for Windows. Why? Because inside that JDK, Java Development Kit, alongside the library files, 
alongside the predefined code jvm is also present and jvm is platform dependent that means for windows there is different jvm which is specific to only windows for macintosh there is a different jvm for you know it is macintosh jvm for linux it is a different jvm so only whenever you try to download jdk from the official website you will see that there is different jdk for different platforms for windows it is different for macintosh it is different and for linux it is totally a different why because inside the jdk we have jvm and jvm is a platform dependent and if you want to run your java application on your machine you must have jvm fine which is specific now what happens here in case of java when you write a java code that will be given to java compiler java compiler will not convert that to machine understandable code machine code is always platform dependent java compiler will convert your code into byte codes they are neither in the high level nor in the machine level and they are platform independent they are not dependent on the platform if they have become byte code from high level code on windows that byte codes can work on any other platforms also so they are secure also they are portable also that can be ported over the network and that byte codes will be uploaded on the internet anyone can download it and they should have jvm specific to their platforms their operating system fine and the jvm will convert that byte code into machine understandable format in that particular platform now machine code is always platform dependent now conversion to byte code to machine understandable code has happened on mac so no problem this machine code will work on this map now this machine code will work on this linux there is no problem in that i hope you could able to understand now how many times have you written the code only once write once are you able to run that application on windows yes on macintosh yes on linux right that means you have written the code in java only once same application you are able to run on windows platform also same application you are able to execute on mac also same platform no same application you could able to you know execute on the linux also vora architectural neutral portable programming language a application which is coded on one platform can be ported to different platforms and execute there platform independent it is not dependent on one platform if you have written the code on windows that code you can execute on mac also on linux also i hope you could able to understand these terminologies here to summarize whenever you write a dot java file a code using java programming language you will be saving that whatever name of the application you want you can give maybe i'll give the application name is launch dot java file it is a java code java code will be given to compiler and here java compiler is used it is java's special compiler this java compiler will not convert your code into it is a java compiler will not convert your code into machine learn understandable format no it will convert that to byte codes byte codes and wherever byte codes are present we call that file as dot class file dot class file dot class file means this is a launch it's a file name whatever name you want you can give you can give your own name not a matter of concern if there is a java code that will be compiled and the compiled file of java code is called as dot class file inside which we have byte codes fine dot class file is a such a file which consists of compiled java code byte codes and that will be given to jvm and jvm for every platform you have different jvm and then jvm internally makes use of interpreter and convert your code into zeros and ones there is a process in the concept of static we will understand the entire architect of jvm we will understand that going forward in depth in this series but for now jvm will convert that into zeros and ones and that will give it to our platform and platform will understand our operating system our processor and you will be getting the result here fine this is the structure of a java execution java code when it is compiled it will generate one dot class file that means consist of byte code 
byte codes are not in high level not in english they are not in machine level also they are intermediate level how it looks like maybe in future we will try to see and that will be given to jvm jvm is the one who will convert that code into zeros and ones machine understandable format that means jvm is the one who will execute our java code fine if there is any ambiguity you can watch the video of platform and platform dependency also previously which we have understood then watch this video definitely you will be in a position to understand please make sure to like the video comment subscribe the channel and also share with your peers and colleagues so thank you so much for joining me in this video we'll meet again in next video